Um, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm just following up. This is video two about um, America and the coming um, calamities. So, as I had mentioned previously, Ezekiel was the book that the Lord really used to speak to me um, concerning his judgments that are coming to America. And um, he gave me a lot of the reasons why he's doing it. Um, so I've just listed out some of the scriptures here and I'll just go through some of the things. And these are also confirmed in some other books in the Bible that are kind of more known um, to be speaking about kind of mystery, uh, mystery Babylon, which is the term often used for America, which I believe is America. You know, people say it's other things, but if you look at the conditions and uh, everything, the character then it certainly falls in line with America. But I just believe it's confirming because it's confirming the scriptures that God had spoken to me originally about America, concerning America. So I'll just say some of them. Ezekiel 6, 4, the sin of idolatry. Um, Ezekiel 6, 9, the whoredom. And that our heart has departed from the Lord. Um, pride is, is one of the big sins with America that I felt God was pointing out, that um, she's full of pride. Um, it says that shame shall be on all their faces. The land is filled with bloody crimes and the city is full of violence. In Ezekiel 8, 3, it says they have provoked God to jealousy. They have provoked the Lord to jealousy. Um, Ezekiel 8, 7 to 9, it talks about secret societies and secret abominations that are gone on, gone on in secret places. And I want to say this about America. The Illuminati that, you know, a lot of us who've done any kind of research um, have, have uncovered about the Illuminati. But right now, when you look at the music awards, American music awards and such, um, it's like they're not covering up anymore. They're not hiding it anymore. Um, it's become, to me, very clear, even in some of the movies they're releasing, the themes of the movies, the kind of subtle, dark themes in, in certain movies. Um, are very you can tell the handprints handprints of the Illuminati are, are over it, so they're not even hiding up anymore. They've just become brassy and and bold about this. Um. So anyway, that's what um Ezekiel talks about that in eight seven to nine secret societies. Um. The people say God sees us not. The Lord has forsaken the earth. Um. I know. Ezekiel 8, 18 says, though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet I will not hear them. So I felt that the Lord is telling me that he's determined to do this destruction. It's not going to be reversed. Um, 9, 4, he will mark those who are his to protect them from destruction. And I believe that's true as well, that God can protect his own. If you're a Christian, then you ask the Lord to protect you and make you prepared and receive your instructions from the Holy Spirit concerning this. Um, nine nine. The land is full of blood. The city is full of perverseness. For they say the Lord has forsaken the, the earth, and the Lord sees us not. Sixteen eight. It says, "I came into a covenant with you, and you became mine." And the Lord talks then about how you broke the covenant in seventeen fifty nine, but you broke the covenant. And actually, I found out from research as well from the people that arrived over to the U.S. from the Mayflower. They made a covenant with God to uh, to abide by him. Um, so that was amazing to me that it, there wasn't a covenant actually established originally with the Lord. Um, in Ezekiel 22, um, ver uh, chapter 22, verse 25 to 27, it talks about a conspiracy. And this conspiracy, they have devoured souls. It talks about the priests and pastors, that they make no difference between the clean and the unclean. And they make no difference between the holy and the profane. And I would say that's happening worldwide with the churches. But um, The princes, which I would see as being politicians, have turned become wolves that destroy souls for dishonest gain. 2337 causes sons to pass through the fire. And that's abortions. Um, and then 2413 says, you won't be cleansed until you have been judged. And 289 says, God will meet you, not as a man, but as God. So there's a lot there. Um, 
what I wanted to say was, I know, like, through looking up on the internet, and I began to seek, you know, what other people were saying, I didn't want to be, I knew that if God was speaking to me about a coming calamity or judgment, that it was going to speak to other people besides myself. And I found that there was a lot of people speaking about um, judgments coming to America as well. So I'm confirming exactly what I was talking about with regards to um, the tsunami and with regards to war, which I believe will be a world war. Um, it will be World War Three, basically. But um, there's other scriptures that that is talks about Mystery Babylon, which I've stated is also um, in reference to, which I believe is the United States. So in Revelations 18, if you want to look this up yourself, Revela Revelations 18 um, has a lot to do with this. Um, references to do with it. Isaiah 47 is another chapter and Jeremiah 50. Now I had Jeremiah uh, Isaiah 47 marked as reference to the US myself before I you know heard it from anywhere else and um, Revelations 18 um, was just like a mirror reflection really of, of Isaiah 47. There's a lot of uh, common common scriptures so, for example, Revelations in Revelations 18, 18, 7 talks about her pride. Here I sit as queen and I will never know grief and I will never know widowhood is what it says in Revelations 18. Isaiah 47, 47, 5 talks about her pride as well. No more will you be called queen of nations. Um, you thought you'd always be queen. You thought you would never be a widow. And you said, I am God and there's none like me. So in Jeremiah 50 is another chapter. Jeremiah 50 and 51 actually talk very explicitly about what is going to happen, how she's going to be attacked from all sides, how the northern armies are going to come against her. And I never mentioned this in my other video, but when I received um, the vision about the wave coming, um, no, sorry, when I received the vision about the armies that I saw, well, I saw a massive army in vision. When I saw this army, I asked the Lord, Lord, who is that army? And the Lord said to me, these are the northern tribes. That's exactly word for word what the Lord told me. These are the northern tribes. So when you look in Isaiah 50 to 51, it explicitly talks about her attack. It talks about the attacks coming from all sides. It, it talks about the northern tribes assembling together. And coming together against her and um, it talks about her being destroyed and um, it talks about her destruction coming as in one day in one hour actually in some places and um, it's, when you see phrases that can repeat exactly again and again then you know it's referring to the same subject and um, this is what I discovered very much in uh, these uh, in all of these books in Revelations 18, 8, it says, um, because of this, in one day, she will be struck with plagues and she will be burnt with fire. Um, in Isaiah 49, 9, it says, but in a moment, in a single day, these things will happen. And if you think about it, like this could never have happened before, before this era. It, this wasn't, it can't have been ancient Babylon or an ancient city because only now do we have the capabilities of blowing up an entire nation in an hour in a day you know that destruction can come so suddenly um this is very i know this is very very scary stuff and if people haven't be if if people haven't heard anything concerning this it, it may be very alarming but i would ask you to seek and ask the lord about it you know i would ask you to seek god for yourself and to to listen to him and hear what he has to say to you about this but really i'm speaking this out just to be an alarm bell for people to get their lives right with god and to take god very serious and to repent from sin and turn away from any sins you know if if you are in sin in known sin you know that what you're doing is would be displeasing to the lord and um, you need to get out of that and just to walk walk right with God, get into the word of God, begin to seek the Lord in your personal chambers, begin to seek him in, in the Bible, 
I would say this very much. Um, I'd very much encourage people to do this. If you don't know the Lord, you need to need to come and turn to Him. You know, Jesus Christ is coming back again. You know, it's stated in the Scripture. Um, Jesus Christ says, when you see all these things happening, earthquakes in various places, when you see the increase in these signs and disasters happening, then you know that Jesus Christ is coming really, really soon. I believe he's at the door, you know, so we need to be ready. We need to be prepared for his coming. We need to make sure that we received him as our, our Lord and Savior. He's the only one that can take sins away. So anyway, in, in Jeremiah, here's just a few scriptures here. Um, it says, 5032, I will set your cities on fire. 58, 50 verse 8, Jeremiah says, run from Babylon, leave the country, be the first to leave. I'm going to stir up a group of strong nations in the north and make them attack Babylon. And Jeremiah 50, 33, it says it's going to be vengeance for Israel because um, Israel has been divided. I believe that is another reason why God is, is going to do this. Um, so I don't want to go on too long, but please do have a read of Jeremiah 50, 51. Um, it's, it's very explicit about, about, about it. I don't know when this is going to happen. I wish I could say I knew from the Lord when this would happen. This will happen. Um, I do believe without a shadow of a doubt that calamity, calamities are going to come to the United States very, very soon. My guess is it's going to happen this year or within the next one to three years. I believe it's sooner rather than later. That's all I can say. That's all I can give. I've been asking the Lord about when, but God doesn't give us dates, but he does give us the season. He gives us the times. So please seek the Lord, especially if you're an American. Please seek the Lord about these things. Please have a look as well on the internet. You'll find many more confirmations about um, judgments. But be discerning, you know, ask the Holy Spirit for discernment when you're going through these things. I would recommend, recommend um, Dana Ashley, A S H. L, can I remember how to spell her surname? Um, a S H L I E. She does some very good videos. Also, Don Shelley um, and Henry Groover, G O U V E R. He actually has a very amazing, he received an amazing vision from the Lord about a Russian invasion of America. And I would recommend to have a look at that. Also, Dr. Morris Sclair, which is S K L A R, and um, he's a tremendous uh, vision as well. So please have a look at these and um, prayerfully to consider these things. Love to have your comments. Um, yeah, please do leave your comments. And um, thank you very much for watching this video. And um, God bless you.